آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ I wanted to ask you while we have you here about one other important development in universities relating to free speech. That's the Roads Must Fall campaign. Roads Must Fall has said that a statue in Oxford should come down and some have said the campaign is an exercise of free speech while others have said it involves restrictions on free speech. It removes a statue that is a form of expression. What's your view of those arguments? I think it's an entirely legitimate debate and I think it's good to have these issues raised um, and I think there are arguments on both sides. Um, my own, if you're asking what my own view is, my own view is that the statue uh, should not be removed, it should be seen in its proper context and any, any plaques or expressions which glori- glorify Rhodes inappropriately or trivialize um, the things that he did um, should not um, remain. But I don't think that the removal of the statue um, achieves what the protagonists for its removal suggest. I, I don't think it's possible uh, to change history. I think it's critical to see these things in their context. And I think if it's seen in its context, and if it's seen in its historical context, as a historical object, it should remain. Do I think the campaign is legitimate? No, I don't. What I will say, though, is I think that, that, that we've been talking a lot about prevent um, and about other threats to free speech in universities. I think there is a serious and growing danger in universities of self-censorship. And I think some students are complicit in this, and I think it's a terrible mistake for um, people to think that universities are places where you can be protected from discomfort or from offence uh, or or from things which are unsettling. Um, And I think that many of the um, no platforming campaigns that we've seen and the arguments for safe spaces are terribly misguided in the context uh, of universities. Um, I I don't think that the Roads Must Fall campaign is to be seen within that context, but I think there is a movement amongst some students um, which if it was successful, would have the effect of closing down discussion and closing down experience in a way which is completely inappropriate for universities. It's often couched in language of safety and harm, but in reality I think it's sometimes um, simply a desire not to experience discomfort and and sometimes even a, a fear of being challenged. And I think all of those things are quite inappropriate in the university context. And I don't think this is to support one hegemony over another. It's simply to understand that universities can be difficult and unsettling places. And I think that people who populate them uh, need to understand that. And uh, as as the courts in this country and, and in other uh, free trial countries, common law countries have often said, that there's absolutely no point Um, having a a law of free expression which protects your right only to say things which are inoffensive uh, and not alarming. Mm -hmm. I mean the whole point about free expression is that it it, it protects the right to say things which are unsettling, Mm -hmm. um, even things that are offensive Mm -hmm. uh, and even things that are unacceptable to some parts of the population. That's the whole point of free expression. Mm -hmm. There's no point having a freedom only to say things that everybody else agrees with.